ready to go again and I still can't get my big screen to work. Um, that's just life, that's IT for you. It can work in the prep, but not a post the prep. Letting that go then, I'm just gonna give you the chance to get into the room. And this next version of life becomes the Pilates workout using the mat and maybe a head cushion. So get yourself set up. You can still use your glute band if you want to, although as usual, it is completely optional. And it's lovely to see people wandering back in the room. For the sake of keeping on going, people, I can't kind of look at the screen and notice what's going on so much as I just need to get this show on the road because I can't see you behind the screen. Are you ready with your glute band? And the other thing that I would have ready is your head cushion. The head cushion is going to be at the end of the mat and we're ready to start understanding a Pilates flow using the mat. It goes without saying whenever we do this kind of mat work that you must go back to all your understanding of your principles and how your body should feel. No twinging, no, sh no sense of um, achy. Everything you do should feel effortful but not in any way painful. You're going to lie yourself down getting yourself ready for this next workout you've got your head cushion under your skull wriggle around i'm keeping my glute band on because it's no um it's no bad thing basically but if you haven't got one the whole workout is absolutely perfect without one go straight into breathing in and out before we start the flow going allow the, sk the spine of you the back of the pelvis the skull the neck the shoulder blades to know where the ground is because when you know where the surface that you're lying on is you can start to use that surface as a means of making a stronger and more useful connection and alignment we'll start this flow with the arms by your sides it's your ab prep and we're going to start with the, your next decent breath out so it's your inhale as you prep breathing out not the chin and curl up Staying relatively neutral unless imprint is easier for you. Exhaling, I slide the hands through the sides of the thighs. Inhaling, laying the spine back down, keeping the chin to the throat. If you find four breaths easier to work with, then you do four breaths. We are going to do just six-ish of everything. Relax your shoulders. Each time you go up there, you might find you make a bit of a tweak of sensation and the symmetry. And this next one, I'm going to stay up there. Exhaling, stay. Now I'm breathing in, two, three, four. And breathing out, two, three, four. I'm going to make my pelvic position be genuine imprint without overly tucking under. So I feel my waistband on the floor, my high waist imprinting. I have six breaths here, inhaling and exhaling. And then I'm going to flow down again, maintaining imprint. Put my hands behind my head. Next sequence, you stay up on the breath out. And you're going to add one leg coming up. Stay breathing. Exhale and bring your other leg up. Stay breathing in. Breathe out, lower that leg down. Breathe in, breathe out, put your legs so both back on the floor. The leg that went down comes up first, inhale, exhale the second leg, inhale, going down and then going down to attack with the final leg. So we go up and up, lowering down and down, tap, up and up, keeping perfect imprint down and down, tap, lift if you need to take your hands from behind your head and put them to the side of the thighs you can and lower and lower. This is the last time we go up and up, then lowering down to stay down. Transitioning then into hip rolls. Exhale, pelvic tilt, roll the hips up so that your lower back high waist activates and the hamstring glute. Now if you're using a glute band, you can um, kind of drift your feet over to one side as you go up and rolling back down the breath out to pelvic imprint rib cage connect and the inhaling down if you're doing a full breath pattern just keep moving with your exhale 
and take a sneaky inhale in between, which is perfect if you're newer to Pilates or need more sensational awareness of the breath. People, the next time is the last hip curl, hip roll, where you're act activating some of the hamstring, the glute, mobilizing your middle to lower back, and then you're ready for the start of the game. So I, I bring my legs towards each other a little bit more, breathing out to roll, and breathing in, this is your prep. Exhaling. You roll till you feel as though your high waist imprints, that's below the shoulder blades, below the bra on a female. That imprints, not necessarily the lumbar spine, although if you're in any doubt as to where all the different parts of the spine are, I think you go to a very gentle imprint. Exhaling. Chin nod, arms reaching, inhaling. And here we go to stay. Breathing in, two, three, four. You could beat your arms if you want. Breathing out, two, three, four. Remember, if it's in your neck, you know how to just uh, support the skull, taking that load out of the uh, neck and landing it, hopefully, more appropriately into your obliques. Uh, making that the last one. And we start the lift and the lift and the lower and the lower tap. Exhale, lift lift, lower, and lower tap. You're going to have both hands behind your head, pointing your elbows to the um, thighs. But if that's too intense and you don't have the strength, the problem with supporting your head is, often the obliques are struggling anyway, and by putting your hands behind your head, they're actually working harder still. So find a way, even if you have to curl and uncurl, all right, the next time we go down and down is the last time and you're ready for your hip rolls. Breathing out to roll through the pelvis, move the head pad if you want to. This time we're gonna add on one leg being up in the air. So I'm gonna do my roll up, roll down now. I'm gonna do three with my right leg up in the air. Inhaling to lower. Breath out, press through the heel and roll through the sacrum to the middle waist. Last time, I'm going to transition legs, switch and away I go now. So the left leg is up in the air for me and the right leg on the floor. My hamstring working hard and the spinal mobilising that as you breath out shrinks the ribcage part of the spine, the breath in reaches length into the spine as it lays the sp spine all the way down to neutral. One more. I probably did four each side, but don't let it worry you. And from that position there then, we add on. So I'm gonna bring myself up to seated for seated C-shaped spine. You've just done rolling lower back, you now do a rolling spine position again. Sitting up tall breathing, if you're using a blue band, find the band. Exhale, bend the rib cage, navel spine breathing. Breathe out and roll back up, keeping your hands to the side of the thighs. Inhaling, breath out, pelvic, rib cage, oblique, have a breath in, breathe out, find the obliques, roll up to eye shape, breathe, down and breathe in, bending the elbows, oblique, bend, 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 and back up again, two more, you go back, pelvic floor, flexion of the lower back, lumbar, breathe, and you have one more. <sighs> Pelvic floor, navel to spine. Rolling off the sit bones. And for this one, you can roll all the way down. Ready to start the sequence over again. Exhale, we're gonna curl and curl. And down we go. Exhaling. And inhaling. If you want now, you could bring legs into tabletop and continue in the traditional 100 tabletop position. So tabletop is in print. And then progressing from there, stay, breathing in, two, three, four. If you're using a band, use the band out, two, three, four. Don't overly tuck under, you should be able to feel your sacrum, not um, as though you've really tilted that pelvis. So you flat back, sway backs, you don't be dragging into a massive flex and forcing your back because that's not going to change anything about your life. 
Okay, so that's your hundred position in gentle imprint. You're now going to let one leg go down and come back up. So that two has changed. Lower one leg down and pull it back up. Lower the other leg down and pull it back up. Exhale. Inhale. You can add a little oblique twist as one leg lowers. Pull the opposite elbow to the inner thigh. Resist rolling around at the hips. And the, the rotation is an upwards reach over towards the base of one scapula, the corner of the scapula, not the side of the shoulder. Once more. So it's not dissimilar to bicycle. Place the head, neck and shoulders down. Place your feet on the floor. If you want a harder hamstring connect in the hip rolls, take your feet a bit further away. And then lifting, go for your single legs if indeed that's what you do. One leg can stay reaching to the ceiling on the progression as the other leg lowers. Inhaling down I go. Exhaling, ribs, up I come. I keep reaching the single leg up into the air as I roll through both sides of the pelvis with symmetry, up I go, and I'm going to stay. Placing the leg that's been up in the air down, and now reaching my other leg up in the air. Exhaling, deliberately reach so that both legs are jointly active. Exhale, up you roll, breathe in, and reach your spine down, stretching the back of the um, spine in towards the back of the sacrum. Exhaling. Pressing the ground away, rolling and inhaling. Bring both legs and roll up. So you're into your seat of spine. Here we go again. Into the C-shaped spine. You start with the upright, that's the I, and flow down into the C. Exhaling to return the spine up to the I. Inhale, exhale. The simplest way to actually move with spinal mobility is almost to have that four breath pattern. Even if it's a sneaky inhale, exhale. The exhale definitely will feel as though it connects you. Inhale. Again, if there's anything um, twingy or achy, then something's going wrong in your alignment. We're going to add on this next time. So exhale. Come to that place where you know you've got a middle back um, to lower back relatively um, lengthened. And my arms are going to pull one elbow back and push it back along the thigh. Exhaling. Turn and look over your shoulder. Inhale, push. The rotation coming from the ribcage shoulder, not from the lower back, and you will be getting hot. Breathe. One more. So you've more or less done six each side, and then laying the lumbar, complete roll down, slide your heels up and find yourself ready for your hundred. Inhaling. Exhale, curl, and extend the legs. Inhale, bend the knees and back down. Progression. We start this session with the legs down as we have curled. And now we're, if we want to, up into the legs, going into the traditional tabletop, followed by the hundred. You can keep your head down if you want. Whichever way. Don't make it so that you're forcing um, changes to the posture. They have to be truly there because the breathing holds them there. All right, so here then we're going to move on. I'm going to bend one leg, let the other leg lower down, breathe in, and exhale the other leg. Inhaling and exhale. This is a move, a progression on from leg lowering, lifting. So you should be ready for this now because the gradual, each time we've visited, we've added a little bit more. And so the body's been primed 
and each time, therefore, it knows where to go. It's like warming it up to getting it harder and harder. Go on, two more. Last time. Pulling both knees in and place your feet down. Feet are down and you have your hip rolls. Exhale, find yourself into that hip lift and then reach the right leg. Now inhale, lift it up. Exhale, pull it away. So inhale, it goes up to the sky. Breath out, it reaches away. Inhale it. Exhale and return. You stay in your hip roll. You take the left leg up this time, reach in, and it lowers down and it comes back up. It reaches away. Your rib cage stays connected. No popping up ribs in the um, effort to find a, a form or a brace, to be honest. You don't want a brace. And then that head comes down. Breathing out then. Lengthen the spinal column, rolling it down towards your sacrum, and you're ready for your seated. Sitting up tall, exhale, C-shaped spine, inhaling or exhaling, return. Inhale, and return, and again. The sensation of your abdominals working really hard we're going to go straight into the single arm oblique work. So we're now adding the rolling spine with a slight and subtle rotation. You start rolling back, then pull your elbow back, moving more of the body, a little bit more complex movement patterns, but as long as you're getting it coming straight through the hip flexor through to your oblique, you can't be doing it too badly. If it's too intense, do it much more static, Whichever way we're going to move on. So your final position then is going to come onto your sides, as you can imagine, and great use of the side positioning is your leg wants to come leg leg. You've got your 90 degree angle going on, and we'll take the leg up and lower it down. Abduct. Don't over push on this band. The pelvic position needs to be um, stacked left to right, laterally, and the underneath leg is pressing down as the top leg's up. Stay here then, and you're just going to expand a bit. In other words, the sense of lifting a little bit higher. There can't be a shift anywhere here. So if there were sensors from the crest of this bony area here, the hip, by lifting the leg a bit higher, it's all into the abductor. Stay where you are then, and take the leg out. As you reach it straight, you're gonna lift, lift. I'm working at end range for effect. So my thigh bone easing against the band, my underneath leg most certainly pulling down, and the abductor here working hard for three more, two more by keeping the movement small and then growing it you start to connect now having triggered my end range connection i'm using full range which if done accurately feels quite tiring okay your exhale is your expansion your inhale is your reaching away the thigh bone as we say always feeling this Pull as though it's pulling away from the hip bone, reaching out of the joints is the best way to see this. And then leave it here, breathing in two, three, four, breathing out two, three, four. Check your waist is soft from your side. You're lying. I've made sort of, um, I have made assumptions of ability here um, for this flow. Otherwise, I, I'd have been too slow. And let that go. You are going to come the other side. Ready, and head, cushion, legs, 90 degree angle, stacked up, kneecaps are level, pelvic position, pure neutral, and abduct, and adduct. Inhaling to take, exhaling, abduct. Feel the abductors here, these are your abductors. 
we say that if you're getting a pinpoint um, piercing connection, it's too intense, and the chances are you aren't actually neutral. It goes back to that whole flat back posture and sway back. You tend to disappear from your thigh to your lower back. You lose your bottom. You've got to find your bottom on this one. You're pressing the leg down that's on the ground and you're abducting. Now stay, hold that shape, finding the connection, keeping pelvic floor navel to spine. It's all abductors and then send the leg away. Check it is where you believed it should be. And we do the end range to set up this move. When I'm teaching this, I often correct the thigh bone. Sometimes it's slightly laterally rotated, sometimes it's medially rotated and was um, turned out, turned in. Obviously, I can't see you. And I know with the one-to-one -one rehabs I've been doing, um, I've been making those connections for people. Do the best you can. As long as it feels totally abductorish, it can't go far wrong. Are you ready for this um, increased range? So you lower down and up. Inhaling, down you go. Exhaling, you've just got three more. The lengthening and the lifting. The lifting without the pelvic position shifting, it's still that reach and reach. Inhaling and you've got last two. Last one and hold your form, know that it happened, breathe into your form and let it be, just let it hang. You can lie there by all means, but this is all I've had time for today. Hopefully, as I remove my glute band, you've had a lovely Monday wake up and the day feels a little bit more, I don't know, bearable that you've got some energy going, you feel connected to yourself, go and live out into the environment. I do believe it's very cold out there today, but it's very dry. So stay well. I'll see you again tomorrow with more progression. Bye for now.